from St. Mary's. That changed tonight. The Saints began by hosting Fargo Shanley in a doubleheader. Let's take a look at the boys' battle in this one. You hear coaches say they want defense to create offense. How about Sam Fedorchik here with the steal going hard to the basket? It is good. There's the foul. Sam made the free throw. Three-point play to give the Saints the lead. St. Mary's would open up a little bit of a cushion, but the Deacons shot themselves back in it. Thomas Baumgartner hits the three for Shamley. This game is tied on the wing. Aiden Price spots the opening, takes advantage of it, drives in for the layup for the Saints. This game stayed close the whole way. Here's the Deacons now. Charlie Bernhardt cutting to the basket, and Shanley would win it by one. 47-46 was the final. Minot's Lily Bell and Jocelyn Schiller of Red River are two of the best girls basketball players in the state. They were on the same floor at the same time tonight. The top-ranked Majettes hosting the second-ranked Rough Riders. There is Schiller right there, and here she is in the first half uh, coming up with the dribble, a drive, and then over to uh, Ella Wipert and puts a uh, smart play there from Schiller. 11-point lead at one point for Red River. Second half, though, Minot trimming that lead. Lily Bell grabs that rebound football pass ahead for the breakaway. Presley Bennett scores down by three. Bell made a bucket to tie the game. And then here's Bennett on the baseline, goes to Bell. This puts Minot up to stay. Number one wins by the final of 72-58. to Elsewhere in girls basketball, it was the Saints winning that first game over Shanley by 11. Standing Rock over Center Stanton by 34. It was Linton HMB 55 to 20 over Beach. New Salem Elmont, the host of that tournament, wins by 15. Fifth rated Central McLean over Kidder County tonight. Beulah in a battle of the minors wins 56 to 28. Bowman County, second ranked in Class B. Watford City, third ranked in Class A. We're going to get used to that. It's a 14 point win for the Bulldogs. And the Troopers win by four tonight. Century and Minot had each played one WDA hockey game. They each won that contest. This evening, they met at the Walker Rink in South Bismarck. Minot, Mac Morelli passing to center. It comes back to Morelli, and he pops it in over the shoulder. It took 43 seconds to, for the Magicians to grab the lead. Charlie Viggs, one of the Century's best skaters, and he shows us why. He beats the blocker. It's 1-1. That just took 30 seconds after Minot's first score. Patriots on the attack again. Hayden Ritter has a shot gloved, but Century would go on to win by the final of 7-6 in a high-scoring game. Dawson Lentz had the hat trick. Mandan's hockey team beats Bismarck 7-1. Legacy shutting out Dickinson on the road and Willis.